Welcome back to number six with cheese. Today, we are headed to River Grove, just northwest of Chicago, to go to Gene and Jude's. When you think encased meats and iconic hot dogs in Chicago, their name always comes pretty much near the top of the list. Today, it's gonna be our first time trying it. And we also wanna do a shout out for our friend uh, Vernon Freeman, who got a two pack of the hot sauce subscription. So we're mailing both our hot sauces to him every single month. Hey Vernon, thanks for supporting the channel, dude. Hope yeah. you're enjoying the hot sauces. Thank you so much. And now, meats in tubes in between buns with other stuff. Your destination will be on the left. Uh, mustard and onion, and then a single with everything. How could you not be so, so excited for this? All right, guys, a very sunny but cold day. Uh, two Gene and Jude's hot dogs with fries acquired jump cut. Alrighty, super pumped. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Open it up. Just a big old beast covered in french fries, that's kind of their thing. And then you're seeing a little tiny hot dog in there and some uh, mustard and onions frying. And I think this was what, only like $3 and some change for one. Just yeah, seems like good. And then real quick on the big camera, you can see, I took a bunch off, they really load those fries on top. Gene and Jude's for the first time. I'm gonna have one bite sans french fries. Okay. It's a good idea. I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. I mean, it's a good dog. I'm mm. pretty unimpressed. Tastes like a uh, for the hype. It tastes like a ballpark hot dog just done really well. To me, it tastes like a ballpark hot dog. End of sentence. <laughs> Do you understand? Like it really doesn't taste any better than any dog I've had. I mean, I like onions, but mm -hmm. I can cut up onions and put that on anything. I mean, is everybody using like the same Vienna beef? Like they're getting, they're all getting the same hot dogs in, right? Mm -hmm. Just how they, what they do with it from there, right? Let's try these fries. These fries are also underwhelming. Kind of soggy. Mm-hmm. These are not great fries. So far, my favorite thing is the raw onion. <laughs> I love the flavor of the fries. I just wish they were crispy. I don't really love like the real soggy fry. Like they taste salty and great. They're obviously like hand cut there from all the potatoes and everything you can see in all the bins. But like, yeah, it's kind of, I wish they were crispy. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. These do not taste flavorful to me. Oh really? I think they're they, so good. They taste like a bland, boring French fry. Oh man, mine tastes like, I feel like this is like real salty and good. Damn, I there's so much sodium. This is, I mean, yeah, I guess if you're just like, I mean, I can get you salt. I love the flavor of the potato with the <laughs> I don't, salt. I don't know if a salt, I don't know if salt makes a difference. I think it's of, a damn good fry. I just, I think the texture is bad. This is a trash French fry, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys have seen these French fries before. These are like the little weak, soggy french fries. When I'm used to McDonald's, Rallies and Checkers, Arby's, like those are good french fries. These are like the bland, boring french fries that you get at cheap places. Yeah, this is one of the most boring, hyped up things I've had. I mean, it's okay, it's a hot dog. You know what this might be? Chicago people might be like so familiar with the crappy Chicago dog that they get a regular hot dog and be like, dog, oh, dog, they did good. You put onion and mustard on it? And it's like, dude, okay. Dude, I could definitely make this at home. It's just a cheap, like hot dogs are traditionally just like a very cheap, easy, quick thing to make. And this price tag, I mean, it's not expensive. Uh, not it's cheap. like, it's not even it's really- It's a $4 hot dog. Okay, eight nineteen. So it's like three bucks and some change after tax. It's a little over four bucks. Okay, if it was just a hot dog, it'd probably be pricey. But since they give you the fries, it's not right. Bad. It's pretty reasonable. I just compare it so much to what like four or five bucks can get you in Chicago for like a belly full of food. Okay, and I feel like that is pretty good. That's true. Compared to a lot of places. I'm not comparing it to Chicago. That's probably part of my problem. That's a good too. point. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking of? Other hot dog joints. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking. How much is a chili dog? Two bucks and some change? I think like in Detroit, maybe I think in bucks? Detroit they're like almost three bucks. I guess it's probably I think a, Co like a Detroit Coney at like Lafayette, I think it's like three bucks. Yeah. And that's no fries. So I think this is pretty comparable price wise, but I do agree with you that if you're hyping this place up, to be something unbelievable, you're kind of in the wrong headspace. Yeah. And I think I kind of blame myself a little bit on some of that stuff too, because I hear these these names and these flashy people being like, Gene and Jude, Gene and Jude, Gene and Jude. To me, it's what I want every ballpark hot dog I ever have to be like. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times they're not that good. Like, and this is good, but I'm not gonna tell someone visiting Chicago to drive out no. here and get this. Here, here's my thoughts on it. I think part of my restaurant going experience mm -hmm. 
boils down to this. I want something that sucks to make at home. So in other words, we've talked about this with the deli world. The reason I go out to get a pizza, I can actually make pizza. I've made homemade pizza before, but okay. it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, I can it's, make, it's never the same, I feel like. It's, that's true, it's never the same, but let's say, okay, pasta. Pasta, I can do just about the same. I make a killer Alfredo. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a pain in the ass though. I gotta shred all the Parmesan Yeah, cheese. making it from scratch. It's yeah. taking a lot longer. Yeah. Almost most things that I get at a restaurant, I can make given enough time. Mm -hmm. What I enjoy about the restaurant experience is going and not have to do any of the goddamn work. One of the problems I have with a hot dog like this is if all you're doing is making a decent hot dog and just putting mustard and onion on it, bro, I can go and grill a hot dog in seconds. Mm -hmm. A Vienna beef, too. A Vienna beef. The From amount the of workload store. it takes me to make that, it's like 10 minutes. It's not worth me going somewhere mm -hmm. when I can make that in 10 minutes. Now, chili dog, I can't, I'm not making a big vat of chili that I'm just keeping. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm simmer for weeks. Same thing with that deli meat that I'm like, whenever we're having deli sandwiches, I'm like, your deli I can thought. make this at home. That's how I feel about this dog. It's nothing, it's not, it's nothing I can't do at home in 10 minutes. They've been doing it since the 40s. They're obviously killing it. In my opinion, in the grand scheme of the world, doesn't matter. But for this video, I just expected it to be a little more unique. I did too. And I, I didn't expect the fries to be soggy, dude. Yeah, it's this, the That's name. my biggest thing. Like, whether you like the flavor of those fries or not, you can't serve soggy french fries. Right. Who, I don't, that's not like, an, is that intentional you think? Or are those not left in the fry room? Probably just. I'm straight mm, up curious. Yeah, they were busy. Like, I, this is my first time there. Maybe they're normally like that and people love them and you know, look, like what you like. I just don't understand the serving a, so, a soggy fry. I don't get it. But get a it. way more um, leeway when something is only $4 as opposed to $15. Facts. When Facts. a hot dog is $15 and you, and you feel underwhelmed, That's you could have gotten four of those. Yeah, it's devastating. They're such a unique thing because it's like, they serve such a specific pocket. We're like rating it against other restaurants, but you're right, it's kind of not a restaurant. It's like a place for blue collar workers to pop in and out on their it's lunch. It's to get a quick lunch and to like, it's not supposed to be the best thing and it doesn't break the bank. It's a quick lunch or you're on your way home from work and you just want like a quick, just grab a dog, grab a bite. Yeah. It's not meant, it's not supposed to be compared with other restaurants. No, it's not. And it's not supposed to be compared to like a gourmet hot dog where you're right. like at a restaurant, you're ordering it and sitting down and eating it. But when a place gets hyped up that it's, much, that's the thing, it's I tough. kind of expect. And we did a Chicago top five hot dog video, right? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite videos we've ever made. The point of that video, other than showcasing our favorites, was to stir up this conversation of all those lists are all arbitrary. arbitrary. So like we want to hear what people's are. So to have this many people saying Gene and Jude's is the best and to kind of go into it going, all right, look, yesterday I heard Johnny's was the best and it was the it best. It was the best. I went to Gene and Jude's. I think if you blindfolded me and gave me that hot dog and then gave me like a hot dog from like Wiener Circle, no, I, no. you know what I mean? Then maybe this whole argument is silly and even having this argument helps all these places because people are so passionate about hot dogs and hamburgers in this city. You can tell we've thought too much about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever, I got Topo Chico bubbles. What's a good uh what's a good question for these guys? This yeah. is one that could could get people going. Okay. Standard hot dog. Uh -huh. Whatever you think that is. If okay. you want to put ketchup on it, go for it. If it's mustard onion, go for it. Whatever your standard hot dog, nothing fancy, not a bunch of stuff on it. Right. Let's call a, a ballpark hot dog, but not at a ballpark. What do you think the cost should be? Like at a place like that, a hot dog stand? A, a walk up, a hot dog stand. What do you think a hot dog with whatever the free condiments are that come mm -hmm. on it? Yeah, relish, onions. Relish, relish, onions, tomato, whatever you want to put on there. What do you think that cost should be? Like, what's, I think, what's your answer? I think somewhere between a somewhere between a buck fifty and two fifty. I think is a fair price for just a hot dog, a bun, and whatever the free toppings are. I think you're starting to get up higher than that. You better be bringing something special. Okay, and so this one came with fries. A pretty. I thought it was just gonna be enough just to cover the dog. That's it. That was like a like a uh, scoop of fries. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize. So if it's like let's say that hot dog's like two bucks, should the, what should the fries be? Dollar fifty. You know what I mean? Like that amount of food was four bucks. Right. Is that just a little too expensive? It's a little too expensive to me, and here's why: mm -hmm. because those fries are trash, and I don't have the option to get without. I know the French fries. If I'm a frequenter there, I'll know that if I do or don't like the French fries, and I will or won't get them. But there, I don't have the choice. Yeah. I gotta pay extra for I meant something to ask I. Them. Don't want. Do you, has anybody ever order it without fries? Is it the same price? Like, you know what I mean? Because like, what if you straight up are like, I don't want fries. Yeah. And they're like, too, that's just what it it's is. Not on too the board. Bad. Yeah. Because it is still called hot dog with fries. That's it's not the, like their hot dog has fries on it. It's it does, but it's like that's still the, marketed as two. It's things. the only option. Two There's no option for hot dog no fries on their board. I think it's a little pricey because you're forcing me. You're forcing you to get that. Yeah. Right. That's a good point. Now, granted, if you got Boss French fries, if you're talking about Arby's Curlies. 
and you're like four bucks and that thing's loaded with Arby's Curly, bro, yeah. I might be changing my tune. Yeah. What do you think the price should be? Like just standard dog, like two bucks. Yeah. Like two dollars even. I feel good about that. That's what I feel. Okay, how about yours? See what I, yeah, me too. Man, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and rate it. I had a lot of hot dogs in Chicago, so like I feel like I should have a good barometer. Let's see. Uh, out of five, Gene Hackman. Oh, I thought she'd just buy me a beer. Out of five G Gene Hackmans, how many Gene Hackmans do you give the four dollar hot dog and fries from Gene and Jude's? I'm a tragic victim of the uh, hype train on this one. Um, I was way excited for this and it did not live up to the hype for me. I did not like the french fries. The dog was good, but it wasn't as good as the name, as the as what I had been told it was supposed yeah. to be. It's just a standard mustard and onion dog. It's fine. It's not worth the trip, in my opinion. Um, so I'm gonna give it. Uh, dude, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta base it off the fact that there's a hell of a lot of hype and everyone's hyping it up a bit, and I'm disappointed in that. I'm gonna give it a, a, a 2.6. Man, um, the fries really hurt this score because it is in, it's in the entree. They were, like I said, I really liked them and they were soggy. That makes me so sad. Crisp hot fries on that dog would have been really nice. There wasn't anything about the hot dog with the mustard, onions, and sport peppers that like stood out as like, this is a Gene and Jude's dog. Above average for sure, just the fries sucking and the hype. I'm fine with the price. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go just as flat three. There you go. I think it's a three out of five. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm shocked that that's the score because I truly thought that this was gonna like just be the best hot dog and fries I've had in Chicago. I thought we were gonna be just doing fives all week. Me too. And well, close. We got close. A five five and a three, and then a two six. All right. Well, uh, we gotta head over to the UPS store. Very excited. We actually just. Uh, packaged up those signed shirts. They're in the back. We were at Corey's yesterday, putting in the hard work. Homeless girl helping us out, which which helped a lot. Um, so she very just excited. Was they roasting us? Yeah, but it, I needed that grounding. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna send those out right now. Uh, very excited for you guys to get those who bought those. That was so so cool. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is only available if you are a Patreon right. of ten dollars and up. Also, another big reason to watch those videos and to sign up is we're kind of nuts. And then also we open like packages and stuff in. Videos. Like we'll splice some of that footage in other videos, but if you want to see like all the major package openings we've been doing, because we like to keep that to like the hardcore fans, go sign up. Do it. See you very very soon. Tomorrow if you spend money and help the show, and Monday if you don't. Right? That's right. Bye guys.